Welcome to the Auto Moto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, supporters. So to the point, the ZF9 HP Automatic Gearbox is a 9-speed automatic transmission developed by ZF Friedrichshafen AG, primarily designed for vehicles with transverse-mounted engines, front-wheel drive, and transverse all-wheel drive applications. Introduced in 2013, it was a significant step for ZF into the FWD-based vehicle market, aiming to offer improved fuel economy and performance in a compact package. History and Versions The 9HP was a departure from ZF's previous HP series, like the 6HP and 8HP, which were mainly for longitudinal RWD-AWD applications. Its compact design was achieved through innovations like dog clutches, Unlike conventional clutch packs, the 9HP utilizes two patented dog clutches for certain gear changes, specifically between 4th to 5th and 7th to 8th gears. This helps reduce size and weight. Compact hydraulic vein type pump. A smaller pump contributes to the compact dimensions. Nested gear set. The internal gear arrangement is designed to fit within a tight space. The primary goal of the 9HP was fuel efficiency claiming an average of 16% fuel savings compared to older six-speed automatics. The gear ratio spread is 9.81 to 1, allowing for downspeeding at cruising speeds. Versions are typically distinguished by their torque capacity. For example, the 9HP has torque ranges between 280 Nm, 207 LBFD, and 480 Nm, 354 LBFD. Cars in which it was installed. The ZF9 HP was adopted by several manufacturers, particularly in compact and midsize SUVs, sedans, and minivans with transverse engine layouts. Notable applications include Jeep, Cherokee, KL, one of the first applications, Renegade, Chrysler, 200, Pacifica, Petrol Engine, Voyager, Land Rover, Range Rover Evoque, Discovery Sport, Honda slash Acura, CRV, Diesel Engine, Pilot, Odyssey, Passport, Ridgeline, Avancier Slash URV, Civic, Diesel Engine, TLX, MDX, Fiat, 500X, Jaguar, E-Pace, Opel Slash Vauxhall, Astra, Diesel Engine, from 2020, Insignia, Diesel Engine, from 2020. Review and Opinions The ZF9 HP's reception has been mixed, especially in its early years largely due to software and shift quality issues. Early opinions slash reviews, often negative. Shift quality concerns. Many early users and reviewers reported issues like hesitant, jerky, or delayed shifts, particularly with downshifts. The transition through the dog clutches was often cited as a source of these issues. Gear hunting. The transmission was sometimes perceived to hunt for the correct gear, especially at low speeds, or during changes in throttle input, leading to a less refined driving experience. Lack of ninth gear engagement. In many applications, especially in North America, the ninth gear was rarely engaged even at highway speeds unless very specific conditions, high speed, flat road, were met, leading to questions about the real world fuel economy benefits. Software dependency. ZF and vehicle manufacturers repeatedly stated that initial problems were primarily software-related, requiring numerous updates. Later opinions slash reviews improved. Improved with software updates. Over time, subsequent software updates for manufacturers significantly improved shift quality and overall drivability for many vehicles. Fuel efficiency when working as intended when operating optimally. The wide gear ratio spread does contribute to better fuel economy, especially on the highway. Compact packaging. Its small size was a notable advantage for integration into transverse layouts. Advantages. Fuel economy. Designed for maximum efficiency. Offering improved MPG over six-speed transmissions. Compact size. One of its primary selling points. Allowing for installation in vehicles with limited space for a transmission. Wide ratio spread. Enables downspeeding at cruising speeds. Versatility for FWD slash AWD transverse applications. Filled a crucial gap in ZF's product line for this segment. 
Disadvantages Initial software slash calibration issues. This was its biggest hurdle, leading to widespread complaints about shift quality and drivability. Dog clutch characteristics. While space saving, the dog clutches can contribute to less smooth shifts during specific transitions, if not perfectly calibrated. They require precise RPM matching and torque reduction. Perceived lag or hesitation. Some users still report a slight delay or hesitation, particularly during aggressive downshifts, compared to the highly lauded ZF8HP. Complexity. The intricate design and reliance on precise software calibration can make diagnosing and fixing issues challenging. Faults and breakdowns. Common issues and reasons for failure in the ZF9HP transmissions, particularly in earlier models, included harsh or erratic shifting. Often the most reported issue, including clunky upshifts, delayed downshifts, or sudden lunges. Primarily attributed to software calibration, but can also stem from worn solenoids or valve body issues. Loss of drive slash goes into neutral. A serious safety concern reported by some owners, where the transmission would unexpectedly shift in a neutral while driving, sometimes accompanied by warning lights. This often led to recalls and extensive software updates. Shift to park, warning slash rollaway risk. In some cases, the vehicle might indicate it's in park when it's actually in neutral, posing a rollaway risk. Honda recalled some vehicles for this issue. Torque converter shutter. Less common than in some other transmissions, but can occur, especially if fluid is degraded. Fluid leaks can occur from seals, the oil pan gasket, or the mechatronic sealing sleeve, similar to other ZF units. Mechatronic unit problems. As with other ZF transmissions, the integrated valve body and control unit can develop faults leading to various shifting problems. Internal wear. While designed to be durable, continuous operation with suboptimal fluid or calibration issues can accelerate wear on clutches and other internal components. Oil and oil change. What oil? The ZF9HP requires a specific, high-performance synthetic automatic transmission fluid, ATF. The OEM fluid is ZF Lifeguard Fluid 9. It is distinct from Lifeguard Fluid 6 or 8 and is often blue in color. It's crucial to use only ZF Lifeguard Fluid 9 or an officially approved equivalent that explicitly meets the ZFTML 11 specification for 9HP transmissions. Using incorrect fluid can lead to severe transmission damage. Oil capacity. The total capacity for the ZF9HP transmission is typically around 7 to 8 liters. A drain and fill service usually replaces a smaller amount, as fluid remains in the torque converter and other internal passages. Oil change interval. While initial marketing or vehicle manufacturer statements might have suggested lifetime fill, ZF itself recommends an oil and filter chain for the 9HP every 150,000 kilometers, approximately 93,000 miles, under normal operating conditions. However, for vehicles operating under high temperatures, heavy loads, frequent short-distance trips, or sporty driving style, shorter intervals are highly advisable. Many transmission specialists recommend changes closer to 60,000 to 80,000 miles for optimal longevity and performance. Oil change procedure, general steps, consult vehicle-specific manual for precise details. Preparation. Ensure the vehicle is on a level surface. The transmission should be at a specific temperature, usually warm, but not excessively hot often around 35 to 45 degrees Celsius slash 95 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit for level checking. Drain. Remove the drain plug and allow the old fluid to drain. Replace pan and filter. The ZF9HP often uses a plastic oil pan with an integrated filter and gasket, which should be replaced as a single unit. Remove the pan mounting bolts and replace the assembly. Replace sealing components. Like the 8HP, it's highly recommended to replace the mechatronic sealing sleeves, often referred to as bridge seal, profile seals, or tubes, and the electrical connector sleeve when the pan is off, as these are common leak or pressure loss points. Install new pan. Install the new pan with its integrated filter and gasket. Refill. 
Carefully add new ZF Lifeguard Fluid 9 through the fill plug until it begins to trickle out. Cycle gears. Start the engine and, with the vehicle stationary, cycle through all gear positions, P, R, N, D, and manual selections, pausing briefly in each to circulate the fluid. Temperature check and top up. With the engine running, monitor the transmission fluid temperature using a diagnostic tool. Once the fluid is within the specified temperature range, continue to add fluid until a steady trickle flows from the fill plug. Finalize. Install and tighten the fill and drain plugs to the specified torque. Adaptation reset recommended after a fluid change. Especially if there were prior shifting issues, it's often beneficial to perform a transmission adaptation reset using a diagnostic scanner. This allows the transmission's computer to relearn optimal shift parameters with a fresh fluid. Due to its reliance on precise calibration and the specific nature of its dog clutches, proper fluid maintenance with the correct ZF Lifeguard Fluid 9 and attention to software updates are crucial for the ZF 9 HP's reliable operation. Thank you for watching the video, and I invite you to subscribe to the Automoto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone, and see you in the next episode. See you soon.